Okay, the notice of the meeting has been posted as required by the Freedom of Information Act. The agenda has been circulated to the committee, and a quorum is present to conduct business. Before I call on the uh, athletics director, I'd like to just uh, tell everyone this meeting is usually the meeting where we ask you to approve a budget for athletics. But because of all the uncertainty out there, I mean, uh, it's ranging from limited to no football to a full schedule of football to a half full stadium to a, a quarter full stadium, the actual revenue and expenses are too far a range for us to bring a budget forth for approval at this time. The athletics director has done probably five or six models that show various amounts of fall sports and uh, various amounts of revenue and various amounts of cost saves. Uh, so once we are a little more certain, and I'll let the athletic director talk in a little more detail, once we have a little more certainty on this, and we're hoping that's going to be within the next 60 days, uh, we will be bringing forward a, uh, a budget for this committee to approve and ultimately for uh, the board to see. Um, one other thing, um, one of the committee members had asked for a, a report on um, the various sports and the, the revenue minus expenses of each one of those sports, and I've asked the athletics director to uh, put such a schedule together, and we will go over that in one of the upcoming um, athletics committee meetings. And with that, I'll turn it over to uh, the athletics director for his, his report. Thank you, Trustee Whittle, Chairman John Von Lee, Mr. President, and members of the board. Uh, good morning to you. We, we still have a few minutes of the morning left. I would like to share a couple of things with you, and, and then I will address um, maybe football to a, an extent. The first one being, I think it's very important that we recognize the professors on this campus, our deans, as well as the student athletes, and, and all the people that work in athletics in the W. Anderson Academic Enrichment Center, led by our Maria Hickman, for being able to pivot at spring break and being able to go online and adjust to circumstances that none of us saw coming. And maybe it wasn't seamless, but it certainly seemed that way to a great extent that so many people were able to make adjustments and get us to the end of the semester. We're anticipating in athletics, and we are not official yet. Uh, we anticipate by the middle of next week that our grade report will be final. And I'm, I'm optimistic. I'm maybe getting a little bit overzealous, but I'm optimistic it'll be the first time in the history of this institution that every one of our sports will have a 3.0 or better in, in their respective sports. So I'm very happy about that, especially with the circumstances that we had to deal with. To add to that, we will graduate, or we have graduated 67 young men and young women for the spring. We'll have 12 more that will finish up this summer. And we had two former student athletes come back with our degree completion program to receive their degrees. I will uh, segue over to our project that's going on at williams Bryce Stadium. It is, is going very well at this point. Uh, we feel like that we will certainly be on time and ready to go for football season. Uh, as you know, contract construction has the project led by Greg Hughes. It, it's really a it's really a project that is divided up in four different segments, with the West, the East, and the South, and the 2001 Club. The West, the East, and the South are all enclosed, so they never have any interrupted work. The West will be finished first, followed by the East and then the South. <laughs> Excuse me. The 2001 Club is in the Southwest corner. It was delayed a little bit by weather, but all the steel is set at this, at this point, and we anticipate that uh, we'll we'll be ready to go. So it's a it's a great project. Um, I think that that our fans and our donors. And you will be really pleased with, with the outcome. We, we hope to be putting some carpet down uh, in those uh, spaces of amenity probably by the end of uh, June. But that, that project is going well. As, as Trustee Whittle mentioned, our budget, our budget for 2020-21 um, is prepared, is ready to go under normal circumstances. 
circumstances, but as he alluded to, it is a period of uncertainty. So we have we have run many models. It is a daily it is a daily project for us to analyze and to try to put together data as we move forward. We lean on our peer institutions. We gather as much data as we can. There's still a lot to be determined, as as Mr. Whittle said, about attendance. Uh, you know, we we anticipate that we certainly are going to have football with our with our health professionals, this board, our president, and the leaders of this institution. At some point, we will make a decision if we if it is necessary on what the attendance might look like. I'm more optimistic today than maybe I was. Uh, you know, a few weeks ago, but we don't know the numbers yet, which will certainly affect our budget. We will be prepared, uh, whatever that circumstance turns out to be. So we have, you know, we have models from no no games, which is not not a not a pretty sight, to um, you know to having a, a pretty normal situation in every range in between. But we have looked at certainly a number of cost cutting measures. Where we will, where we will end up, what we're, where we're likely to be, and and uh, we'll be prepared. I'm optimistic that it could be a little better than maybe we once anticipated, uh, but we'll be we'll be ready to go and prepared to adjust when we have the opportunity. You know, it, it is June 5th, and and our kick our kick date is September 5th, so we're we're three months away. Um, ideally, you wait as long as you can to make a decision based on the information that we would have regarding this pandemic and what is a safe environment for our players, our staff, and our fans, and, and make a decision that is, is best. At some point, uh, logistically, we'll, we'll have to, you know, we can't wait till September 1st to make that decision, but we will do our very best to make it in a timely manner that will be as, as correct as we possibly can be. So I know that I haven't given you specific numbers and data, although I've got plenty of it in front of me. As as we move forward, we will do our very best to uh, provide a budget you know, when, whenever you require that and uh, be prepared um, to advance our, our fall sports as, as well as uh, not only football but the other sports as well. Thank you very much. All right, that concludes your report. Um, so, yes, sir. Uh, this, this report was received for information only. Are there any other matters that need to come before the, the committee or any questions of, of Coach Tanner? Yeah, yeah, Mac, this is Chuck Hill. I have a quick question. Uh, will we have a budget by July 1 for the next fiscal year? Well, we'll have a budget when we get the, when the numbers firm up. If, if the numbers firm up next week, we'll have it next week. You know, if, if we don't know how, how many students, how many fans we're going to have in the stadium, and we don't know how many games we're going to play, a budget at this point is meaningless. So once those questions are, at, are answered and we're firm on that, then yes, we will have a budget. Well, I just I ask, you know, I, so there'll be no budget, there'll be no guidance whatsoever if the numbers aren't uh, the guidance, uh, available. The guidance right now the guidance right now is in the form of the models that Ray has run. But all of the, all of that is speculative. We don't we don't know whether we don't know which one of those models is gonna be closest to what what we end up doing. And we won't know that until we know how many games we're gonna play, when we're gonna start playing, how many fans can be in attendance, you know, and, and what, what will be involved around that. Well, I understand, um, but legally we don't have to have something in place for the next fiscal year. I mean, so it's a legal matter. Well, we've got a, we've got another. We'll, we could have another meeting if we get what what we need to have. But I don't know that legally we have to have an approved budget. Just carry maybe you just carry over last year's budget. That's what. Yeah, about. that's kind of what I mean. Yeah, I certainly understand the logistical problems. It's just I thought you know that we may have a legal obligation to have something. In place, we, you know, whatever it would be uh, for the I, next fiscal year. That's not the case. I just, uh, that would have been my presumption, but maybe that's not the case. Could Terry, yeah. Terry, maybe yeah, I'm here, Mr. Whittle and, and um, Mr. Allen. What we have done in the past in those few circumstances when the budget has been 
uh, uncertain by the end of the fiscal year. We have done the same thing that the General Assembly does, which is adopt a continuing resolution. Um, and we would do the same thing in this case if we're not prepared to actually adopt a budget by the end of June. So, so the board would take action to continue on the same budget from the previous fiscal year. That that's correct. Okay, thank you for clarifying that, Terry. Mr. Whittles. Thank you. 